Today on the Bass Channel, we're comparing a bunch of Thunderbird pickups from EMG. And before we get going too deep into this, I want to give a huge thank you to my friend Jamie Lewis for providing all of the playing examples in this video. If you like Jamie and want to see more of what he does, be sure to subscribe to him on Twitch. Also, a big thank you to my friend Anthony from EMG for working with me and sending me these pickups so we can test them out and show you all how they sound. And lastly, uh, I think it should be noted that none of the pickups we're looking at today are actually sold in sets. They're all sold individually. But throughout the course of this video, we're going to show you them in set so you can hear them both in each position, whether that be neck position, bridge position, or in the middle with everything turned up. But again, when you go to the website, there is no such thing as the EMG T-Bird J set or DC set. You can just buy them individually and mix and match your own pickups to create your own set, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. So the bass we're using today to demonstrate these pickups is my 2019 Gibson Thunderbird. It's strung with Elixir Nickel Wound 45 to 105, and other than for this strap pin relocation, has remained pretty much stock. The first set we're going to check out is the TBDC. The TBDC offers excellent frequency range and response thanks to EMG's low noise, low impedance internal preamp. Using a pair of ceramic loaded parallel coils, players get an extremely versatile bass pickup that can be used to reproduce the cleanest highs right down to the dirtiest growling lows. This pickup comes with EMG's solderless wiring and pots for easy installation. Next up is the TBJ. The EMG TBJ is EMG's original J pickup in a TB cap. 
This pickup has its coil located in the back of the housing closer to the bridge, which gives it sweeping harmonic overtones and punch. EMG's design has a very low ratio and resistance to inductance, which increases the low end response while the radiused ceramic bar magnet ensures the tone keeps a tight mid-range punch with a dynamic high end. Next up is the TBP. The TBP is EMG's P bass pickup in a TB cap with a treble magnet closer to the neck like a Spectre or a Yamaha bass. Because this pickup utilizes ceramic magnets coupled with short squat coils, the tone has brilliant high-end articulation, warmth, and incredible low-end punch. <laughs> Last, but definitely not least, is the TBTW. This dual-mode pickup offers two unique tones. 
The single coil mode is EMG's JCS pickup built with ceramic magnets and steel pole pieces for a rich, warm tone. The humbucker mode is the CS ceramic steel dual coil for a big, aggressive sound with a pronounced mid-range. The push-pull volume or tone pot allows you to change from the rich clarity of a J pickup sound to the fatness of the CS humbucker. Because this pickup is the CS humbucker in its dual coil position, we've intentionally left the CS pickup out of this video because it just felt a little redundant. So if you like the tone of the CS but don't necessarily need the versatility of the coil tap and the push pull, then the CS bucker might be the one for you. That being said, the JCS that comes in this pickup when you have the coil tap engaged is not available as a standalone Thunderbird pickup. So if you do like that tone, this is the only way to get there. And like I mentioned before, these pickups are not sold in sets, which means you don't need to get two J pickups or two DC pickups. You can mix and match and pair different pickups for different tonal responses. In this video, we've done two that I feel would probably be some of the more popular combinations. For example, this first clip pairs the P position in the neck with the J position in the bridge for a PJ setup. <laughs>
PJ, it's a little tough to say which one would be considered the second most popular, but for this video I've opted to pair the J pickup in the neck with the DC pickup in the bridge, as I have seen that combination across a couple other basses, so let's hear how that sounds. Now obviously we don't have time to show you every single combination of which I think it's about 25 different combinations of either pickup and either position. But of course you have plenty of flexibility and opportunity to get creative. For example if you put a CS in the neck with a DC in the bridge you've effectively got yourself the Dave Ellison signature set. If you were to take the DC bucker in the neck and the J in the bridge, you've now got the Tom Araya signature set. So again, by taking any of these pickups and putting them in either combination, you can create a tremendous amount of different tonal options that could best potentially suit your playing style and your needs. Okay, so that just about wraps it up on the EMG Thunderbird pickup comparison. Uh, I wanted to keep this video a little bit shorter, a little bit more factual and to the point, just so you could have the information, because as far as I could tell, there isn't a tremendous amount of information across the internet, whether it be audio samples, video samples, or written reviews. So I decided to change that. So I hope you enjoyed. However, I went through quite a bit uh, of stuff putting this video together. So if you want to hear a little bit more about that, as well as which pickups I preferred to others and just what I thought about them in general, click right here. But if not, I'm Chris from the Bass Channel, and we'll see you next time.